Okay, so we are going to talk about catastrophic cancellation. So catastrophic cancellation is like when you take two numbers, you know, two real numbers in the floating point number system, and you minus each other, then the relative errors, you know, can be very big, and that is what they call the catastrophic cancellation. So an example is suppose you try to solve a quadratic ax square plus bx plus c. Then you will have the formula for the roots are minus b plus or minus square root of delta, which is b squared minus 4ac and everything divided by 2a. So when this formula can have catastrophic cancellation, so you see that when b is positive, okay, then minus b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac can have a catastrophic cancellation. Because you see this number, you know, is a floating point number minus b is another floating point number. And if those two numbers, you know, square root of this one and b are very close to each other, when you take the difference, it could have a catastrophic cancellation. And now, when b is negative, okay, then the other guy, the other terms, see, because when b is negative, then minus b is positive, and this one is a positive, then, you know, the difference can have catastrophic cancellation, okay? So how do we fix that? How do we fix the problem? Well, so take the case when b is positive, yeah, then <clears throat> the first root is minus b plus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, okay, could have a catastrophic cancellation. Then in order to, in order to remove the catastrophic cancellation, I have to transform this formula into something equivalent that doesn't have catastrophic cancellation. And in order to do that, I just multiply by the conjugate of, of this expression. And because I multiply, so I have to divide by the same number to keep everything the same. But you see, now, I mean, this one will be like uh, minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac and then I take the minus outside and take the minus outside here so actually it should be like b plus square root b square minus 4ac here. Yeah? So divided by 2a so Okay, and now if you remember, there's a formula like x square minus y square equal x plus y, x minus y. Okay, then I can reduce this one, okay, the, the top into b square, yeah, so this one is like x plus y, then x minus y, yeah, so... So you have b square minus 4ac minus b square, okay, and divided by 2a times b plus square root b square minus 4ac, okay. And you see now b square, b square got cancelled. So, so b square here got cancelled with b square here. So I just have uh, minus 4ac divided by 2a, it's just minus 2c divided by 
b plus square root b square minus 4ac. And you see there's no more, no more catastrophic cancellation. And you, you can do the same for the case b less than or equal to zero. So, so b less than zero, then you know the second roots could have catastrophic cancellation, and you can use the same tricks, multiply and divide it by the conjugate, and then you get out the equivalent expression for another roots, so that there's no catastrophic cancellation. Okay? So we are done with this question. Yeah.